Hey guys, welcome to the second unboxing on this channel. It's $100, um, again like the last one. And the reason why I always get over $100 orders is so that I can get free shipping. Because if not, then you have to pay $7 for shipping. I think I already said that in the other unboxing. So yeah, there's quite a few cubes in here. Not all of them are mine. But yeah, let's get into it. So I think there's like six or seven cubes in here, which is a bit more than last time. Most of them are cheaper cubes though. Oh yes. And another note, I did pay for this $100 order by myself. I had no sponsorship or anything. So yeah, just keep in mind. So that's what it looks like. And on top, we have some stickers. Looks like for the 7x7. I've never got this before. I didn't order them. Must have come with the 7x7. Hint. That's one of the cubes I got. So yeah, that's cool. I got free stickers for that. Didn't. Now let's get on with the first cube. First cube here, we have the Moe cube. Now, if I didn't get this, then I would be stuck with the Land Land, which I got for a long time, which I got a long time ago. And if you know what a Land Land cube is like, you would know it's pretty rubbish. So I even messed that up. So yeah, let's unbox the Moe cube. Let's see what this feels like. So here is the Moe cube. Whoa. Straight away, there was the huge dryish feeling. I don't know if you can hear that. It just feels like completely not lubed, which it isn't, so it is straight away a lot faster than the land land, and it is a lot smoother, obviously. I just said that. Um, and it does have much better corner cutting. I'm used to really bad skews, but this is awesome. I'm really glad I got this. It It is much smoother than the Land Land. So for your first skew, even though Land Land's cheap, cheapest, Moe is definitely the best. Next, we have the YJ Guang Wong. And this is what the bo box looks like. Now, um, this is one of the cubes that isn't for me, so... This is for someone else that paid me so that they could get free shipping. So they said I could open it. So, so YJ Guanglong. Now it's pretty smooth for a $6 cube. Um, it's actually not too bad. It doesn't have great corner cutting, but it's pretty smooth for a $6 cube. I, I don't know if it's with all cubes these days. But as soon as I unbox box them, there's that super duper dry feeling. It feels like what is inside there. But yeah, if he lubes this, then it will be pretty good. Not amazing, but pretty good. So this next cube, which I can't unbox, is the Sheng Shao Rainbow. Um, this is the other cube that someone else um, paid me to get for them. And so this is what the box looks like. It's really colourful. But yeah, I can't unbox that, so it'll feel something like a Shang Xiao. And I'm sure you have at least one Shang Xiao. Next, we have the Mo Yu Tang Po. Hopefully it'll become a main, unless it's really bad. So, yep. Yeah. Pamphlet. Of course. It looks a little bit like the Ling Po straight away. So this is the Mo Yu Tang Po. Okay, whoa, very, very, very smooth out of the box, like that is little effort, that's very smooth out of the box, um, again there's that dry, kind of scratchy I guess feeling, which probably is going to be in any cube that you get, but it does come a w go away with lots of solves and lubing, it does overshoot slightly so... Don't put too much Maro in this, otherwise when you turn, it'll overshoot, and then, even though it has amazing corner cutting, you might lock up a bit. Another business card to add to my collection. Here we have the Shengxia 7x7, my first 7x7. 
as you probably already know from my collection video. So really cool that they sent me stickers. I've actually never, ever got free stickers like that before without me ordering it. Feeling it, it feels really um, luby on the outside. Um, like they put a lot of lube in. But yeah, it's probably, hopefully, a good thing. So first turns. Oh. Okay, my first turn was not as smooth as I expected. Um, they probably way over lube this or something. My friend has a Shangsha 7x7 and it is much faster than this. I don't know if that's just first turning or whatever, but... In fact, it probably is. It's starting to get a bit better now. Nice and cheap for $37. So that's the Shangsha 7x7 with these stickers. I've got some um, Weight 5 Silicon Lube. And right here, if you can see... It says it's from the cubicle, which is weird. I got this from speedcube.com.au. So probably what happened is Speedcube bought a bunch from the cubicle and then started selling it here. But that's pretty weird. I've, I didn't buy it from the cubicle. The final cube that I've got in this unboxing is the Crazy Fisher or Crazy Yilang or something like that. But anyway, it's a 3x3 three three shape mod, which I've heard it's pretty cool. Here we have the Crazy Yilang, or Crazy Fisher. Okay, that's a nice smooth feeling for a, a shape-shifting cube. Feels a bit like a normal Moyu cube. Nice and dry out of the box. But nice and smooth too. For a sh shape-shifter, I'm surprised at how well this performs. So yeah, this should be fun. Can't wait to start doing some solves on this. So these are the cubes I ended up getting from this unboxing guys and I'm pretty happy with it so I can't wait to start playing around with them. Just as a quick bonus I'm going to do my first 2x2 solve in Tangpo. 2.67, I'm so dumb I accidentally used the Lingpo for that first solve. So we're going to do that with the next scramble, my actual first solve on the Tangpo. have a 3.15. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing and I'll see you on my next video.